Good morning, students, and welcome to the E class of Saint Xavier's High School. As you all know, we all have finished our first semester. Now we are going to start with our second semester. So we are going to start with the English grammar chapter number nine. As you all know, we are following this Viva publication book. So in this, we are starting with chapter number nine. We have already studied till chapter number eight, ten, and eleven as well. So now we are going to start with our chapter number nine verbs. So students, verbs. First of all, verbs we have studied in third standard. In third standard, we studied about verbs as doing verbs, which shows action, which shows being, which shows that the work is being done. That are said to be verbs. For example, we have seen I am writing. She was sitting. She had a book. Had, have, has. All these words are showing action. They express anything, so they are said to be verbs. So now we are continuing with the chapter number nine of standard four verbs. So let's read it. Let's learn some examples so that we are clear with the verbs. So what is verb? A verb tells us. What the subject is, what it does means action, or what it possesses. What this means when we have something. So is what it does and what is possession that is said to be verb. Verb expresses action, being, and possession. So let us see one by one example. Be Azhar is a boy. Azhar is. I eat an apple every day. Action. What do I do? I eat an apple every day. Shalini has a red dress. Has been shows possession. So whenever we talk about possession, action, or being, they are said to be verbs. I hope you are clear, students. Do read it again and again so that you are clear with the examples. Now we have to keep in mind some things regarding verbs. So let's see what we have to keep in mind. One more thing, students. Without verb, a sentence cannot be framed. A verb is a very important portion of sentence. So, whenever you are framing a sentence, we always we use verb is, am, has. So, all of these are very much necessary for the verbs. So, verbs. Verbs are the most important part of sentences. In fact, we cannot form a sentence without a verb. Again, we cannot form a sentence without a verb. Ram to the market is not a sentence. Without verb, we cannot make it. Ram is going to the market will make a sentence. So, what is important? A verb is going. So, what is important, students? A verb is very much important for a framing of sentence. So a verb in a sentence may be formed in three different ways. It can be one word, it can be two word, and it can be three word. Suppose I, if I write only I am writing, so am is one word. Suppose uh, suppose is sitting, that is sitting on the stool. So there are two words. For example, will be sitting on that stool. So what is the verb over here? Will be sitting. He will be sitting. And one word. Sandhya sat on a chair. So it will be one. So in a sentence, it it can be one verb, two verbs, or more than two words also. So I hope you are clear. This few things you have to keep in mind while making a sentence. So students, the first activity, the foremost activity of your chapter is you have to underline the verbs in the following sentence, and you have to write down how many verbs are there. One, two, or so we are going to first read it, understand it properly, and then on the bracket we will write down one, two, or three. Rafat and Maria are going to London. It's very clear. Are going. What is the verb over here? Are going. So how many verbs are there? Two verbs are there in the sentence. Next sentence: Farzan and Mary are good friends. Again. Are good friends. So are good. There are two words. Samarth will be going to the market soon. So will be going. So there are three words in the sentence. Part was studying quietly in his room. Was studying. Two words in the sentence. The engineer will be repairing the 
the computer and the lab. So how many verbs are there? Will be prepared. So students, I hope you are clear with the activity. First activity, you have to underline it and you have to write down one, two, or three. How many verbs are there? So now students, one more topic that is on your page number twenty-nine. Verbs that express actions. We are always speaking about actions. So which are the verbs that show actions? We have seen verbs like go, sit, stand, talk, walk. All of these shows an action. Means we are doing something. We are doing a work. Then we show an action. Go to the market. Go. Ali walks four kilometers every day. Walks. Please sit down. Sit down. So whenever we are talking about action, these are the verbs used as an action. I hope you are clear, students. You have to read it again and again to get clear to the point. Now, students, the next page number we have to do the next activity that is match the actions that animal can do. Okay. So first of all, tiger. So tiger grows. You will have to write down the number of them. One. And then the rabbit. Rabbit hops. Activities. You have to write down the actions. Verb. Bird. What does the bird do? Jumps. Mosquito. What does the mosquito do? Stings. Earthworm. What does the earthworm do? Crawls. Duck. What does the duck do? The duck quacks. And last one, horse, horse, and ox. I hope you are clear with the action. You have to match the proper order. So now verb that denote be the first thing. What does verb means? Which shows being. Action and position. So the first topic we are going to see as be. What is the exact meaning of be? The words am, is, where, was, been, and being are the different forms of verb be. So whenever we talk about a person thing, we use these words. Generally, these verbs are used with other action words. So let us see the sentence. I am reading. Okay. So what is the verb over here? Reading. But what we are using over here? Am reading. I am reading. So it is used with an action. Again, I am repeating, students. These words are used with an action. Means main verb. What is the main verb over here? What I am doing? I am reading. Reading is the main verb. Reading is the action. So what? What is the being used over here? I am reading. Am is the helping word. So what is helping word? Am. He is an accountant. Is is the main word because without is a sentence cannot be seen. We cannot say he an accountant. He is an accountant. They are in the next room again. Am is the main word. It's not an helping word. Rather was going on again. Going is the action. So going is the main word. Am. Was is the helping word. She was late, so was is the main word. They were busy, so were is the main word. I hope you are clear with the main word and helping word. So in the in the next exercise, we have to just make out what is main word and what is the helping word. So let's try this. So choose the correct word from the sentence given below, and you have to write down what are the main words. And The helping main words which show the main action and helping words which are helping the action. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Aujha, of course, where because more than two persons are there. Where were yesterday? So where is the main word? The parrot is imitating its master. Is imitating. So is imitating. Imitating is the actual action word. So main word is imitating and is is an helping. My parents is or are so are going to the going for a meeting. So this is an helping word. Are going going is the main verb and am is the are is the helping verb. All the people were tired after the party. So again, where is the helping word because tired is an main verb. I am in the I am the class monitor. Am to am will be the main verb. It is used as a main verb. So students, I hope you are clear with this activity. Your main verb and helping. Now students, the next thing we have to study the verb that denotes 
belonging, that is possession. Whenever we are having anything that is said to be possession. So as I have had, you all know, you all are very clear with this. Whenever we are having anything for support, I am having this book. So this is mine. I have a book. She has that book. Okay, so what, what all these show, all these verbs show and possession. So, we are going to learn about possession. I have a new toy. She has a younger brother. They have a big blue car. I have a long skirt. So, whenever you are having anything, use possession. So, we have to keep in mind some certain things, students. The verb have also, also means to eat or to enjoy. He has seven elements, he has seven elements every morning. So eats. So we have to use eats, right? We had a great time yesterday. Enjoy. Is it clear? So you have to make it clear by using these things. Enjoy. The verbs has, have, and are used as a helping verb. So you, I have finished my work. So what is the correct sentence? So I have finished my work. With a helping verb. Here have helps the main word finish. I hope you are clear have, has and have. Are you clear with this? Now students you have to pick mark the correct option. This is the last activity. In the next session we are going to go to the other activity. Our school library has the latest books. So has and have, has. The parent has or have a curve B, has. It has for this is. My cousin have a collection of beautiful shoes. Gunjan had or has, it would be had, a green frog which she wore when she was young. Ranjan and Ritu has or has, as there are more than two persons, so have the best ones. Students, I hope you are clear with all this. With green means the action as well as the position. Students, do read them along with this. I'm going to attach the PDF so all these free activities you can do it in your textbook that is your application textbook. And in the next session, we are going to do the other. Thank you and have a nice day.